tonight on Connecticut's news station, intense video of reckless driving ending in a crash shared only with Fox 61. New Britain locals say it's become a common problem and they're demanding action from city officials. And it's a dry start, but a damp finish to your Memorial Day weekend. We've got the full forecast for you coming up. A local family shares their emotional story tonight. Young Tristan died when he was hit by a car. His family wants federal law to mirror Connecticut law, putting certain requirements on ice cream trucks. Now at 10, this is Fox 61, Connecticut's news station. We begin tonight with video you will only see here on Connecticut's news station. Thanks for joining us for the news at 10. I'm Brent Harden. And I'm Sarah Sanchez. A reckless driver was caught on camera barreling down South Street in New Britain, clipping other cars before eventually crashing. The locals we spoke to say it's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to dangerous driving. And Fox 61's Alexa Farrell joins us now in studio with the exclusive video. Alexa. Sarah Brent, bumpers, car parts, even license plates are all common items found scattered down South Street in New Britain. And this video shows just one example of how it happens. Chaos on the roads in New Britain. This video provided to Fox 61 shows a gray Nissan Rogue driving west down South Street Friday afternoon. The driver appears to drive over one vehicle and can be seen pushing another into the opposite lane. The vehicle keeps going, taking out a stop sign, sideswiping a pole and driving on the sidewalk before returning to the road, but not before causing yet another car to go into the opposite lane. Then video from further down the street shows the vehicle after it smashed into the bed of a white pickup truck and was being dragged down the road. Now you saw the video. This is what's left here on the scene. You can see the tire tracks from that car that ripped up much of the lawn here. The dirt and debris on the sidewalk now. One thing that has been fixed at this point is the stop sign that was knocked over by that car. This was a wreck that shocked business owners in the area, even though they say it's a common problem. It was it was unbelievable. People got to got to slow down and, you know, take in consideration that there's other people on the road. This crash left behind a bumper, license plate and car parts scattered through the road. Speed and reckless driving is an issue that business owners on South Street say they deal with often. Traveled fast at night, people speed down the road, uh, the stop signs, you know, People don't always abide by them. I mean, the street is crazy. Like there's there's races all the time, speeding, and I don't know. I think the city needs to do something about it. Fox 61 spoke with Bez Beats Eye about how the danger of South Street impacts his business. It's sometimes it's hard whenever I have customers doing a test drive to get out, and it takes you know sometimes we're waiting because they're just they don't want to stop at the stop sign either. Both business owners agree that something needs to be done to create a safer road. Officers, I know they'll do you know the best they can to to contain it, but it's it's a never never a ending problem that they have here. Now we have reached out to the New Britain Police Department to see if the driver in this crash was charged or if anyone was hurt. We'll keep you updated when we hear back. In studio tonight, Alexa Farrell, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station. All right, Alexa, thank you. Turning to the weather now, it was a stunning day out there, although surely a lot of people out there are not quite ready for it to be this hot at this time of year. You know, I don't think yeah. they want to turn the air conditioner on. That's I think that's a fair argument. Yeah. All eyes now, though, are on Memorial Day weekend and the forecast there. We've got barbecues and parades to go to, Rachel. Here she is, Chief Meteorologist Rachel Frank with conditions out there tonight. Hi, Rachel. Yeah, and I think that the weather is cooperating most of the time. It may not be quite as warm as the last couple of days, but will still be well above average. And I was telling everybody earlier, my kids were complaining about, oh, it's too too hot out here today. They're one of those people. I was loving it. Low 70s right now in New Haven, mid 70s in the Hartford area, and we'll see those temperatures tumbling back into the 50s tonight. So if the house is a little bit stuffy, you can open up the windows and let some fresh air in after a warm several days. We're watching these showers. By the time they get to us, they're going to be in a much weakened state. But that will be our next chance for some showers later tomorrow night after the sun goes down and into early on Sunday morning. But 
overall, the timing works out just right. So overnight lows in the 50s. As we head into the day tomorrow, we're going to start off with temperatures in the 50s. By lunchtime, though, for your backyard forecast, temperatures are climbing into the 70s, and we'll see high temperatures in the lower to middle 80s as we head through the afternoon. No rain in the forecast and plenty of sunshine with low humidity. A UV index of 8, which means it is very high. You can get a sunburn in a half an hour or even less if you have really fair skin. On Sunday, there is a chance for an isolated shower. We'll time that out for you, but overall, both days are green light for outdoor plans. And I think the heaviest rain this weekend may hold off until Monday night, but we'll talk about what that means for Memorial Day coming up. All right, Rachel, thank you. Well, in Hartford tonight, police are still investigating what they're calling a suspicious death. Hartford police tells Fox 61 a body found this morning inside an apartment on Weathersfield Avenue, and they believe a man in his 50s may have died overnight. Right now, officers are treating this like a homicide and say there was trauma to the body. Investigators are still waiting for the medical examiner to determine the exact cause of death and time of death to officially call it a homicide. Glastonbury police say a woman is dead after she crashed into a dump truck on Keeney Street. This happened around 1030 this morning. Police say the woman was driving northbound and crossed the center line. She was pronounced dead on scene. The driver of the dump truck was not hurt. The crash closed the street off between Howe Road in Bush Hill for several hours, but it's back open. Glastonbury police say the investigation is still open and they want anyone who witnessed the crash to give them a call. Well, two men are accused of trying to steal a woman's car on I-84 in Vernon. Police say Emmanuel Nina Saldana and Brian Saldana tailgated a driver, forcing her to pull over onto the shoulder of the highway. According to police, the two men hit her car, blamed her for the collision, and then attacked her. They stole the keys to her car, forced her back into it, and drove away, but she managed to free herself and find help. Both men were arrested yesterday and were arraigned in Rockville Superior Court today. Parents might not think twice before letting their child run off to greet an ice cream truck in the neighborhood. But for one local family, they've put a state law in place to protect kids, and now they want to make it federal law. Ten-year-old Tristan Barhorst was hit and killed by a car in Cheshire while grabbing an ice cream. Fox 61's Bridget Biorlo has more on how the family is making sure it never happens again. Our fairy tale life ended and we are living with a gaping hole that's irreparable. Four years after losing their 10-year-old son, Tristan, the Barhorst family is turning their pain into purpose. In an instant, his life was cut tragically short while holding a popsicle he just bought with friends at an ice cream truck in Cheshire. Their parents watching their group of kids as they crossed the 25-mile-per-hour road. Tristan was the first to get his ice cream, and as he crossed the front of the truck, a teenage driver who was traveling at approximately 40 miles per hour around the ice cream truck struck him as his dad screamed out to him, Tristan, Tristan, stop. Since then, his parents have spent their days raising awareness about ice cream truck safety so that what happened to their son doesn't happen to someone else's. No parent should have to hold their dying child in their arms knowing that that's not even the greatest pain. It's waking up every day thereafter without their child. One year later, Connecticut leaders signed Tristan's Law, a bill requiring ice cream trucks to install safety equipment, including flashing lights, caution signs, and a signal arm. U.S. Senator Richard Blumenthal is hoping to take the changes nationwide. They should be provided with the warning signs that school buses have. Stop when you see children. Stop when this vehicle is stopped. He announced Friday a federal version of Tristan's law that would reward states that adopt similar safety measures. This kind of tragic accident is by no means unique or even rare. Tristan's family says they hope the law gets passed to protect children across the country and honor the memory of a bright young life taken too soon. And if this could happen to my son, it can happen to anyone. 
Bridget Bjorlo, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station. Well, new here at 10, a downtown Hartford summer tradition kicked off this evening. Take a listen here to the first Salsa Social of 2024. Yeah, the event started six years ago, and organizers say it's uh, intended to celebrate the capital city's Hispanic community. Anyone can head to Pratt Street for salsa dancing lessons or to join the party. There will be four more salsa socials. We have the dates on our website, fox61.com. Beautiful evening for it, yeah, too. It's a great night.